Welcome to Camps Aparts Automotive Limited. Today, we will be talking about cylinder liner and how it works. What is a cylinder liner? A cylinder liner, or a cylinder sleeve, is a hollow cylindrical structure installed inside the engine block cylinder bore. These thin metallic structures play a crucial role in internal combustion. Engines by ensuring that the piston and engine block do not directly contact each other. The outer surface of the liner makes complete contact with the cylinder block, while the inner surface, in contact with the moving piston, is meticulously polished. This component is critical and flexible, as it reduces wear on the more expensive engine block while protecting its integrity. Functions of cylinder liners. The various functions of cylinder liners are 1. Formation of sliding surface. Cylinder liners serve a crucial role in internal combustion engines by providing a smooth sliding surface for the piston's reciprocating motion. The friction resistance on the inner walls of the liner is minimal, allowing piston rings to glide smoothly along its surface. A thin lubricating film forms on the liner's inner surface, further reducing frictional resistance. 2. Reduction of wear. I see engine cylinder liners possess exceptional anti-galling properties that effectively decrease wear on both the liner and the piston rings in contact with it. Without the presence of a cylinder liner, the piston rings would directly contact the cylinder block. In such a scenario, the wear on the cylinder block would be considerably higher, making it more cost-effective to replace the cylinder liner than the entire block, galling. A form of wear caused by adhesion forces between mating parts is mitigated by the liner's presence. 3. Heat transfer. Another crucial function of cylinder liners is the transfer of heat generated during the combustion process. These liners facilitate the transfer of heat from the burning charge to the engine block and subsequently to the surrounding environment or coolant in the case of wet. Liner. The coolant acts as a heat sink, ensuring efficient heat dissipation. 4. Sealing. Cylinder liners play a pivotal role in maintaining a tight seal between the piston rings and the liner walls. This sealing function relies on the exceptional smoothness of the inner cylinder walls. As a result, it minimizes charge leakage during the compression stroke and prevents the escape of exhaust gases during the exhaust stroke. 5. Withstanding combustion, internal combustion engines operate under extreme conditions generating high pressure and temperature levels. Cylinder liners are designed to withstand these harsh conditions, enduring temperatures as high as 1,500 degrees Celsius and pressures of up to 25 bars. Without cylinder liners, the engine's cylinder block would be vulnerable to damage caused by the intense heat and pressure generated during combustion. Types of cylinder liners. There are three basic types of liners used in internal combustion engines. 1. Dry liners. Dry liners are designed not to be in contact with liquid coolant. These are essentially uncomplicated, hollow cylindrical tubes that fit snugly inside a cylinder block. In their construction, the liner is installed within the cylinder block, precisely fitting into the mold and securely locked on the upper side of the cylinder block. Importantly, no direct contact exists between the liner and the water jackets containing coolants. The liner, along with the engine block, absorbs the pressure generated by the combustion of the charge due to the minimal clearance between the liner and the cylinder block. Consequently, dry liners have relatively thin walls, typically ranging from 1.5 mm to 3 mm. Heat transfer initially occurs from the liner to the engine block and subsequently to the cooling jackets, resulting in longer engine cooling times. Replacement of dry liners requires specialized tools, and they are resistant to corrosion, since they remain isolated from the water jackets. 2. Wet liners. Wet liners, in contrast, come into direct contact with cooling water or coolants. The construction of wet liners differs slightly from that of dry liners. Wet liners are fitted within the cylinder block and securely locked at both ends to prevent any cooling water or coolant leakage. These liners tend to have a greater thickness, typically ranging from 3 mm to 6 mm compared to dry liners, as they lack the supporting structure provided by a cylinder block.
The wet liner can withstand the forces generated during the combustion of the charge. Heat transfer in wet liners occurs directly from the liner to the coolant, resulting in a more efficient heat transfer rate. This allows the combustion chamber to achieve higher temperatures, enhancing thermal efficiency. Wet liners are relatively easier to remove as they are not as tightly fitted as dry liners. Three finned liners. Finned liners find application in air-cooled engines. These liners feature exposed fins that are in direct contact with the open air. When air flows through the fins, it significantly increases the heat transfer rate, effectively cooling the engine. In some cases, fin-cooled engines may also incorporate a wet liner to further enhance heat transfer rates. Finned liners are commonly used in engines that operate in open air environments, benefiting from natural air cooling mechanisms. Difference between dry liners and wet liners. One, contact with coolant. Dry liners is not in direct contact with cooling water or coolants, while wet liners is in direct contact with cooling water or coolants. Two, thickness. Dry liners are typically thin, ranging from 1.5 millimeters to 3 millimeters, while wet liners are generally thicker, ranging from 3 millimeters to 6 millimeters. Three, support structure. Dry liners rely on the engine block for support, while wet liners do not require the support of a cylinder block. 4. Corrosion resistance. Dry liners resistant to corrosion as they are isolated from water jackets. While wet liners has no specific advantage or disadvantage regarding corrosion resistance. 5. Ease of removal. Dry liners require specialized tools for removal. While wet liners relatively easier to remove as they are not tightly fitted. 6. Cooling efficiency. Dry liners has longer engine cooling times. Due to indirect heat transfer, while wet liners has more efficient heat transfer, allows for higher combustion chamber temperatures and improved thermal efficiency. 7. Heat transfer. Dry liners heat initially transfers from the liner to the engine block and then to the cooling jackets while wet liners heat transfers directly from the liner to the coolant, resulting in efficient heat transfer. 8. Force absorption. Dry liners shares force generated during combustion with the engine block, while wet dry can independently withstand forces generated during combustion. Materials used for cylinder liners. Cylinder liners are primarily crafted from cast iron. Due to their inherent lubricating properties, porosity, and exceptional damping characteristics. The manufacturing process involves centrifugal casting, starting with raw materials sourced directly from the blast furnace. The best cylinder liner material often depends on the specific application. The various materials used are 1. Chromium enhances liner hardness, wear resistance, and corrosion resistance, ensuring extended durability. 2. Molybdenum improves wear resistance strength and withstands high temperatures and pressures. 3. Nickel. Small nickel additions enhance machinability, uniform strength distribution, and overall casting quality. 4. Copper. Copper additions enhance the perlite structure, reduce friction, provide a superior sliding surface, and improve corrosion resistance. 5. Vanadium. Elevates the liner's metallic structure, hardness, and durability while reducing fragility. 6. Titanium. Added for its reaction with nitrogen to form titanium nitride. Reducing compact graphite structures and minimizing blowholes. 7. Phosphorus. Enhances the grain structure of cast iron. Contributing to improved performance. 8. Silicon. Mitigates shrinkage in the liner and reinforces its structural integrity. Advantages of cylinder liners. Here are some of the advantages of using cylinder liners. 1. Wear resistance. Cylinder liners are made from materials such as cast iron, steel, or even advanced composite materials which are highly wear resistant. 2. Heat dissipation. Cylinder liners help dissipate heat generated during the combustion process. 3. Bore restoration. Over time, the cylinder bore can wear and develop imperfections. 4. Reduced friction. The smooth surface of cylinder liners reduces friction between the piston rings and the cylinder walls. 5. Improved lubrication. Cylinder liners can be designed with specific surface finishes 
and treatments to enhance lubrication. 6. Compatibility with different piston materials, cylinder liners, allow engine designers to use different materials for pistons and cylinder blocks. Disadvantage of cylinder liners. Here are some of the disadvantages associated with the use of cylinder liners. 1. Increased weight. Cylinder liners add weight to the engine due to the additional material used. 2. Cost. The manufacturing and installation of cylinder liners can add to the overall cost of engine production or repair. 3. Reduced cooling efficiency. In some cases, the presence of a cylinder liner can slightly reduce the efficiency of heat transfer from the combustion chamber to the engine's cooling system, as the liner may act as a thermal insulator for potential for liner slippage in high stress or high temperature engine applications. There is a risk of liner slippage or distortion, which can affect engine performance and require additional maintenance. Applications of cylinder liners. Here are some common applications of cylinder liners. 1. Automotive engines. Cylinder liners are widely used in automotive engines, including gasoline and diesel engines. They protect the engine block cylinder bores from wear and corrosion and can be replaced when necessary, extending the engine's lifespan. 2. Industrial engines. Cylinder liners are employed in industrial engines used in power generation construction equipment, agricultural machinery, and other heavy-duty applications. They help enhance engine durability and facilitate maintenance. 3. Marine engines, large marine diesel engines, often use cylinder liners to withstand the high loads and corrosive conditions encountered at sea. Liners help extend the service life of marine engines and simplify maintenance. That will be all for today. To get any original car spare part anywhere in Nigeria, please visit www.kimseaparts.com.